Matt Swan, I'm 23 years old. Uh, I'm from just outside of the city of Philadelphia. I'm a, I'm a producer, I'm a saxophonist by first discipline. Um, play a little bit of keys, I sing, um, and I do a lot, of, a lot of live programming stuff. Uh, I went to college at the University of the Arts in Philadelphia. Graduated high school in 2007. You know, went into the program in the September of the same year. Um, I started getting a lot more in touch with myself when I was there, and in touch with you know, like what I liked and what I didn't like, and what, and honestly, you know, the, how those two things engineered what I wanted to do. I started touring. I played with LP Styles and Dirk Quinn uh, full time, basically. LP was really the LP was the impetus for him really, in terms of performing. That's when I started messing around with some of the MPC stuff and setting up like a sampler on my MIDI controller live to do, you know, to, so that I had the opportunity to make it more, more hip hop than it already was, which for those that have seen LP, it was pretty much hip hop all the time. You know what I mean? It was just something that I could keep in my back pocket to kind of punch people in the face every now and then. Be like, oh, hey, yeah, remember those samples on the album? <laughs> gave it to me. It was like a part of the tuition or something. And I learned how to use it. And that led me to kind of what started the whole, you know, started the flame under my ass to do this project. You know what I mean? Learning how to mix, learning how to do it. that all that stuff happened when I was working on this project. This project was like the best possible way a learning experience could turn out. This album, what it is, is it's just me all in. That's that's the best way to say it. Every track was a different expedition into a certain facet of what I am as a person. I just wanted to make something that I just had to get out of myself. You know what I mean? It was like I just had to cleanse myself of it. And that's that's what it is. I did all of the project in my room. Woke up every day, turned 90 degrees, walked 10 feet to my desk, and then just worked for like 15 hours straight on the stuff for nine and a half months, which is as long as it took me to do the album. Some of the tracks, I cut up 150 samples or more. I didn't play, I didn't play a lot of the samples in live, but I hand cut them. Each one is actually different than the repeated version based on how I faded it or how I chopped it or where I put it. I, I wanted to make something that I could listen to every single day, that I wanted to listen to every single day. I wanted to make something that you had to listen to. To get the point, you had to listen from zero to 56 minutes and 32 seconds. You had to listen through the whole thing, and it's a whole concept. It all goes together, not because there's interludes, but because it's made from a bigger perspective than the musicians, you know what I mean? It's made from a perspective of life, and that's what it was for me.